Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most chainsaw repairs will require some disassembly of the product. Before you attempt this, make sure the engine has cooled and the on-off switch is in the off position. To replace the air filter, unthread the knob securing the air filter cover and pull the cover off. Release the retaining bar securing the air filter and pull the filter out. To access the carburetor, use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the screws securing the engine cover. Confirm that the chain brake is engaged, then pull the cover off. Remove the screw securing the air filter housing to the base. Now use a 5 16th inch socket or nut driver to unthread the nuts from the carburetor mounting posts. With the nuts removed, you can detach the air filter housing. Next, depress the trigger to release the throttle arm and remove it from the carburetor. Pull the carburetor forward and remove the choke lever. Note the orientation of the fuel and primer lines then disconnect them from the carburetor. To replace or reinstall the carburetor, attach the fuel and primer lines to the appropriate ports. Then slide the carburetor onto the mounting posts. Attach the choke lever to the carburetor and position it on the base. Attach the throttle arm and realign it with the trigger. Reposition the air filter housing. And rethread the nuts on the mounting posts. Replace the screw as well. Next, realign the engine cover. Remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to make this easier. Replace the screws to secure the cover. Replace the air filter in the housing and secure it with the retaining bar. Realign the air filter cover and rethread the knob to secure. If you need to replace any starter assembly components, use a T25 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the screws securing the assembly. With the screws removed, pull off the starter assembly and set it on a sturdy surface. To replace the starter rope or recoil pulley, extend the rope and secure it. Then untie the knot securing the rope to the handle. Remove the handle. Now slowly release the tension on the recoil spring. Use the T25 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the mounting screw, securing the drive gear and pulley assembly. Lift off the drive gear 
and drive spring. And carefully remove the pulley to avoid dislodging the recoil spring. Next, unwind the rope from the pulley. Remove the screw securing the rope and pull the rope free. Reinstall the components by first inserting one end of the rope through the hole in the pulley. Align the rope on the pulley, then secure it with the screw. With the screw facing up, wind the rope clockwise around the pulley. Carefully realign the pulley in the starter housing and rotate it clockwise until the pulley hooks onto the recoil spring. Realign the drive spring and gear. Then thread and tighten the mounting screw. Now rotate the pulley clockwise, approximately two revolutions. Insert the rope through the hole in the housing and secure. Insert the rope through the handle and tie a knot at the end of the rope. Reposition the starter assembly on the chainsaw and replace the screws to secure. To access components like the clutch, oil pump, and cutting chain, use the provided wrench or a 13 millimeter socket to help loosen and unthread the nuts securing the clutch cover. Confirm that the chain brake is disengaged and remove the cover. Next, lift off the front chain guard and remove the cutting chain and chain bar. To uninstall the clutch, you'll need to remove the air filter cover as well. Now detach the wire and boot from the spark plug. Use the provided wrench to help loosen the spark plug. Then unthread it. Confirm that the piston is in the down position. Then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. Next, use a large flathead screwdriver and strike it with a hammer to rotate the clutch clockwise to unthread it from the crankshaft. To reach the oil pump, pull off the clutch drum and sprocket assembly and the remaining washer. Use a small flathead screwdriver to bend the retaining tab to release the rear chain guard. Now use a T15 Torx bit screwdriver to remove the screws securing the oil pump and cover. Lift the cover off of the crankshaft and pull the pump out of the oil block to remove. Reinstall or replace the oil pump by sliding it into the oil block. Then position the pump cover on the crankshaft. Rethread the screws to secure. Slide the rear chain guard onto the chain bar mounting posts. 
slide the rear washer onto the crankshaft, then replace the clutch drum and sprocket assembly, along with the inner drum washer. Rethread the clutch counterclockwise onto the crankshaft, then tighten. Remove the cord from the cylinder. Rethread the spark plug. Be careful not to strip the threads by over tightening. Reattach the wire and boot. Realign the air filter cover and rethread the knob to secure. Realign the chain bar on the mounting posts. Replace the chain by aligning it on the sprocket and on the chain bar. Make sure the teeth on the chain are facing towards the front end of the chain bar on the top and away from the front end on the bottom. Reposition the front chain guard. To replace the clutch cover, the chain tensioner pin will need to be inserted into the hole in the chain bar. You'll probably need to rotate the tension adjustment screw counterclockwise to properly align the pin. With the cover in place, hand tighten the nuts. Now lift the bar and rotate the adjustment screw clockwise until there is no slack in the chain. Fully tighten the nuts and confirm that the chain is taut. With the product fully reassembled, turn the on-off switch to the on position and your chainsaw should be ready for use.